Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your second brain in Mem to plan projects and move them forward. And if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check out our free guide on how to build a second brain. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the tutorial. All right, so when you're planning a project, the first thing that you wanna do is to obviously create a mem for that project. And in this case, I've already got that mem ready to go here. I'm called it example for project planning video, but instead of calling it example for project planning video, let's make this a lead magnet or ebook that I'm going to for creatives about AI so that I can use it to generate new subscribers. So that's the project that we're gonna work on. And one thing I like to do for all projects is to use a template because often with projects, the content changes, but the process doesn't. And this template comes from Tiago Forte's book, Building a Second Brain. And one of the reasons that this is actually really important is because it actually saves you a lot of time in the long run, because you don't want to be down the road on a project and realize you made a lot of mistakes in the beginning and planning, and then that's how projects end up spiraling out of control. They end up taking more time that you think. They end up over budget. And even though we're not going to answer all of these questions specifically for this project, these questions are really useful to help you think about what this project is going to be about. So the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna get all of our resources for this project put together after we answer the second brain templates. And those could include notes from different books, conversations you've had with people, conversations from articles. So there are two different ways to gather those notes. One is with tags. And basically what this allows you to do then is to gather all the various notes that you might have related to artificial intelligence. So you can see here, I have a bunch of artificial intelligence notes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start adding links to those notes here. So that way we start to have some stuff that we can work with. And you can see here, I have a bunch of different notes right there as well. And some of these are gonna be your individual notes that you've written. So in this case, these are my very smart notes that I've taken on some of the books I've read. In this case, you can see here, there's another book called Rebooting AI. So we're gonna go ahead and add those as well. And bit by bit, what we'll start to do is we'll fill this out with the various notes that we might want to use for this project. Now, keep in mind, the nice thing that MEM allows you to do is while you're working on this project, you'll probably come up with different ideas. A lot of things will surface that you hadn't thought to use. And so there are three different methods I like to use to gather all of this information. One is with the other is by using bi-directional links, and then the other is search. So for example, we could just do a quick search for anything related to AI, and we can see what notes we might have here inside of my database or my second brain that I could end up using in this article. So you can see here I have a bunch of different notes from various projects that I've worked on. I have blog posts that I've previously used before. Here's a link to an article written by Kevin Kelly. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more of these here. I know that this article by Kevin Kelly had a lot of useful information, so I want to go ahead and put that in here as well. So I'm just gonna create a list of articles and I could just say limitless creativity at your fingertips. And then Scott Belsky had a really great article about this as well. So as you can see, what we're doing now is we're putting together all the various resources that we might want to use for this project. Now, one thing you'll notice when you're working on projects inside your second brain and mem is that those tags are going to continually change every time you put them and do project. So it, don't worry so much about what they're tagged as or how they're tagged. And the great thing is because of the way mem works, you don't actually have to tag anything and you can always find something. 
so now we've got a basic list of resources on how we might get to work on planning this project. So let's say, as we've said before, the main goal of this project is to <clears throat> generate, write an ebook about artificial intelligence for creative work with the goal to generate new email subscribers. And you can see here that I have some metadata here for my project, and those tend to typically stay the same. Usually when I create a new project, the status is active or current, and then of course we could fill in our success criteria. Now we get to really the most important part of the project, which is generating our list of tasks. So what I could do is maybe I could say, you know what, I'm going to first write intro to AI for Creatives ebook. And then I could say, compile list of quotes that I might want to use. Build an archipelago of ideas, which is a concept from Tiago Forte's book as well. And that's effectively what we're doing when we're gathering all of these resources. But when we start to build our archipelago out, what we're going to then do is put all of these things in an order that makes sense. I might start with just this introduction. And what you'll notice here is that when you put your project plan and action steps together, sometimes each task will have MEMS associated with them, other times they won't. So one reason I like to keep all the tasks for a particular project on the MEM related to this project is because of the fact that when I go to my tasks view, I can actually see which tasks are related to which projects. So you can see here, it says example for project planning video, and it has all the tasks that we have created for that particular project. So now let's go back to our project MEM. And we can see here that we've basically answered all these questions. We've started planning out our project. And then one other thing that I like to do that really helps when I'm working on a project, for example, is to take all the related tasks, especially the ones that have MEMS with them, and then just add them to my inbox. Because by adding those to your inbox, you then are able to prioritize the things that are most important. So maybe what I could do also is <clears throat> say, basically go into some of these books so that way I can just put them in the inbox and then start grabbing quotes and start highlighting them for the things that I might want to use. For example, we might just add another task that says highlight and underline key quotes from various books that are in my inbox. And then finally we could say write landing page for AI for Creatives ebook. And you can see in about 10 minutes or so, we have planned out a project for something as complex as creating an ebook for creatives. Now, keep in mind, I have probably thousands of notes in here that I could use for this process. And because of the fact that you have Memex and it shows you all the various similar MEMS, you can actually use those similar MEMS to start filling out this entire project template. And then finally, the last thing that I like to do is to use this task portion to schedule tasks. So for example, I could say, you know what, I'm going to do this tomorrow at 11 a.m. And then it gets taken off of the list of tasks. That is the basic overview of how you plan a project inside of MEM using your second brain. And just to recap everything, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create a MEM for your project then you're going to answer all the questions inside of the second brain template. Then what you're gonna do is gather and organize all your source materials before you start. That way you don't end up spending a lot of time looking for things and you can finish all those things very quickly. And depending on the scope of the project, sometimes it's better to use bi-directional links. It's just a matter of what your preference is. I like to use a combination of tags and bi-directional links. And remember that you know, your tags will also change from project to project. And then finally, we do what we do last is we generate a task list. And for anything that is really important, we put that in our inbox. And that is how you plan your projects in MEM using your second brain. <clears throat> As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.